Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Athan. This is Forza Central, and look what we have in front of me today. We have the 2020 C8 Corvette. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I would never think I would ever say those words. The second 2020 car in the game, and probably one of my favorite um, cars that are under $100,000. I mean, there are very, very few cars that are, like, under $100,000, and this is... Mm, I would say number two, um, but yeah, I mean, I absolutely love this beyond belief. I have always loved Corvettes in particular. I don't really like the Camaro personally. I kind of hate it, to be honest, but Corvettes have always been a soft spot in my heart. And uh, we, yeah, I mean, uh, to get this, by the way, you have to do a, a championship. It's not that hard. It's only three races. It's uh, maximum will take about 10 minutes. And uh, yeah. So let's go over the design of the vehicle. Uh, we have pretty good, you know, rear tail lights and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I mean, even the front is really good. But let's look at the engine. We have a 6.2 liter V8, not a push rod this time. Uh, that produces 495 horsepower, 469 pound feet of torque, and the car weighs 30. Uh, I'll say actually around 3,600 pounds. Uh, it's about 3,587 pounds but i mean 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds ladies and gentlemen that is fantastic and it does have a rear trunk now in the game it's it shows that it's little it's not that deep but in real life it is much deeper and you can fit that roof up top it's also like convertible even if you get the coupe version but uh, yeah look at that front you got i've always loved the front even the front trunk you know it's a decent side it's not actually bad for a, I would say, mid-engine sports car, um, and yeah, you know, typical Corvette jagged edged lines, but even the interior, look at that, the Intel GM have really, really paid attention, um, to the interior of this car, you know, the, the, the exterior is great and all, and Corvettes have always been a very good looking exterior, in, in terms of exterior cars, but the interior has always been a letdown, but not with this one, ladies and gentlemen, look at this, this thing looks like straight out of a Ferrari, and I love that it's like that. I mean, the center console is mwah, amazing. I mean, everything. It's either leather or it's um, Alcantara. I mean, it is beautiful. You have that PRND buttons type thing. You have your own center uh, console. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it looks really good. You have your own infotainment system. Everything is driver-oriented. You know, you see those low, long line of buttons. Um, that's all your climate, your, uh, ventilation and everything, and, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I overall love it. Um, what else do I have to say about the interior? The seats are amazing, and up top you have that camera, um, uh, which I'm gonna call it rear view mirror also, because the rear visibility isn't the best if you use a traditional mirror. Steering wheel is a bit different, um, looks really interesting, it's more of a square, I would say, but you know what, let's hear the car. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, that, yes sir, I would say, um, and look at, now look at the interior, ladies and gentlemen, that is a fantastic looking interior, all digital display, the, the, uh, the, dis uh, no, not the display, the, uh, infotainment system i mean sorry i can't speak today the infotainment system is straight out of cadillac it's the cadillac q system um and uh, it's a fantastic system i have it in uh the ct6 and it is a fantastic it's mwah, it's amazing probably one of the best gm systems on the planet and uh yeah i mean everything about it is responsive it's immediate and uh yeah there's nothing really um else to talk about um and yeah i think we should take this out on a on the road now i'm not gonna race it or anything the reason why i say that is because well the thing is i have cars that are specifically meant for racing them and i don't like racing the cars that you know i'm gonna be using as daily drivers and this is gonna be one of them in the game i'm never gonna race this this is just going to be purely for aesthetics maybe drag racing although huh that's a bit of a uh, that's a bit of a stretch, but yeah. Now, like I, I just love the way this looks. Also, I just realized my traction controls on. Let's 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 turn that all off. I had it on because I was uh, doing the championship uh, for this car. Now I will say the wheels look small. I don't know if those are five inch wheels, but man, are they small? They should be like at least twenty inch. Like come on, Chevy. Like you know, oh. 
Corvette sound is still there, even though it's not a push rod engine, it still has that distinctive Corvette noise. Even in real life, I mean, I, I have seen, I think, three Corvettes now um, in the Washington area where I'm at, Waffle area, and uh, all of them have sounded typical Corvettes. So very, very raw, very, very, you know direct and um yeah I, I i love everything about a corvette i love how outrageous outlandish and how it's over the top and that like, you don't need it but you buy it because you don't need it. like it's one of those cars where you have it because well it just looks amazing now we have to do the inaugural as you know you have to do some donuts ladies and gentlemen the donut test if you're new to the channel well subscribe and turn on those post notifications so that you are not so that, you know you watch a couple more videos because i will be doing a gameplay on this soon so you know you, you better subscribe guys like I, you, you don't want to miss these uploads like i do these um from wednesday to sunday monday and tuesday are my filming days and yeah i mean these are good quality videos and uh yeah soon uh actually up uh i think uh, up a couple miles we have a house i have a house uh here and i'll uh you know we'll, we'll tinker with the uh engine a little bit you know, just just a small tinker very small and when i mean very small i mean very very big very outlandish yeah um but wow i mean the speed is really good handling is oh man there is grip for days ladies and gentlemen there is so much grip with this new um, like mid-engine setup that it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sorry, I, I can't. I can't even say it. That's how good it is, guys. Um, I drive a lot of the of the uh, old C7 Z06 and the ZR1, and they have always been super bad on the corners. Well, not 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 super bad, but I would say really really slidey, and not have like look, like look. If I force it to slide, it will slide. It's not like it can't slide or anything. Like, it will slide if you make it. But it's just... I love the fact that it's a controllable Corvette. I feel like the Corvette is a more expensive version of a Mustang. The only difference is that... Um, I guess the suspension is better. So you don't kill as many people. You know? But, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I have always loved... Um, and uh, I, I love the mid-engine ones. But, uh, yeah. Let's go into the upgrades shall we now i always do a race exhaust that's my go-to thing that's it that is it and uh, we're gonna go to wheels actually we're gonna widen the rears because i want to make this more controllable i'm gonna do only tw uh like minimal um half maximum rear oh that is girthy look at that now on the front i usually do minimum i uh, or not minimum but like half i don't do full the reason why is because when you have the front a little bit less than the rear, you actually get more grip and more control in the car. So, that's why I do it. Um, if it was like a full drag build, I'll make it wider. Much wider. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do some of those. I'm actually going to keep the rim stock for now. Maybe I'll change them later if I feel like it. But for now, yeah. Oh, the fitment is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm not gonna do a full weight reduction because I know if I do it and with 671 horsepower This thing's gonna slide for days. So that's why I'm gonna make it just just a little bit less um, on the way uh, Transmission no no no, I don't know what to do with anything else. I'm not gonna put oh, yes I, I need to make these a little bigger um, I'm not gonna put any like different tire compounds or anything. I just want to see how it is um, On like these these stock tires because that's kind of how you know what a car is capable of and uh yeah i i, I just so sometimes that's kind of how it works but yeah um by the way i have not i've resisted myself i've restrained myself actually to not watch air nick's video on this so when i upload this which is gonna be today guys but uh, today i mean 1 14 2021 um and yeah i mean i've because i just don't want to like spoil uh how it's going to be like and stuff so it's my first time and sounds pretty good i like it i like your cut g um and yeah let's let's put a little bit on a cruise shall we there you go now we got some playfulness into this now it's a proper also this is probably the zr1 edition now look at that I've made my own ZR1. Ladies and gentlemen, Chevy should hire me. Like this. I'm a master at that. I'm kidding. Um, 
still it has some it, it, it has a lot of grip i mean it's not like a lost grip or anything even with extra what two three hundred horsepower but grip is fantastic brakes are amazing it's much more slidey i like my cars to have a like a little bit of slide not too much like a drift car but not so less like a vulcan um, I like to have a good middle point, and this has a very good middle point. Now, in the game, if you, if, if any of you guys who are watching this have played with me, you know that I always drive a Brabus E800. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about to change. I'm going to be driving this all the time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, look at that. Slidiness is amazing on this car absolutely love it and i love the interior i think chevy has killed the game the muscle car game this thing is amazing and, and the fact is you know if you guys are wondering about the price base price is fifty nine thousand, and if you want to get the two l no the three lt i think is seventy nine thousand. and if you want to get the mid trim it's sixty seven thousand. so guys $71,000 USD by the way $71,000 for a car that goes 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds is a really good deal just saying I mean you know I wonder what other cars have a mid-engine V8 bright red you know I, and it has a V8 I wonder what other car that is it might you know I, I don't think it's a 488 GTV or the FH Tributo. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this car has Ferrari performance, and some people, you know, a legend has it, especially on Daily Driven Exotics. I watched a video, and apparently a lady complained that a Ferrari, um, quote unquote, Ferrari was uh, speeding and everything. Well, it turns out that Ferrari, quote unquote, is this Corvette. So, yeah, I mean, it is amazing. I absolutely love it, and I would buy this immediately. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, honestly, this is, this, actually, now that I say this, this is probably the best daily driver. Like, if, like, 911s have always been, you know, the epitome of performance and, um, what you call it, daily drivability. But I think this car has it more, I mean, you know what, we are not going to talk about what just happened right now. Did, 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 shh. Um, and yeah, well, like I was saying, I mean, this thing has really good comforts. Like, it's not like, you know, just because it's a game, I wouldn't know. No, like, I, I have seen literally every single review on uh, on the planet about this car, and every one of them I have seen, the interior is gorgeous, and they have all said, you know, it's really, really comfortable, and it's not something you would expect from GM. So, uh, yeah, so right now, uh, actually, I'm thinking about changing the wheels and the paint. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. I go to my Edinburgh. Let's go here. Custom upgrade. Let's go. Bada. Yes, I like to put HREP 101. I think. Yes, I think that's what they're called. I think they're called HREP 101s. Um, or I might be really bad with my wheels. Which, yes. Okay, I'm right. HREP 101s. Now those look very nice. Uh, and yeah, I mean, those look fantastic. I love a good HRE wheel. Like I said in my last video, I wish they had more uh, wheels in this game. Because I would have probably put Brixton Forged. I prefer those much more than HREs. But, you know, uh, that is one man's opinion. Let's go to design the paint. Alright, let's see. Stock colors. Okay, they're, okay, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Not, but I've never really liked stock colors uh actually i kind of do like those white it's kind of cool although it's kind of like liquid silver so i make those tinted windows let's do black hres and i mean that, that looks pretty good although i think with black mirror caps i think it'll look much better there you go uh i don't know i'm not really feeling the white it's more of a silver yes now that is a corvette i like a nice stealth black and i think i'm gonna change the hres to a goldish color because it I don't like it when it's all blacked out there are very very little cards that are like all blacked out but I like a little contrast color on all my colors and I think this is pretty good uh, and the barrels all okay uh, now 
when I will do the gameplay, it's not gonna look exactly the same. Um, I will get in a low and put some good camber on it for all those Dance Nation people. So don't worry, I'm not ruining the Corvette yet. <clears throat> I could, I mean, cause I might do a drag tune. I, 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 I mean, uh, 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 I didn't say I'm doing a drag tune. No, 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 no. no. I, I, what are you guys talking about? What? No, no. no. Okay, well now, let's see, now this, apart from a pandem wide body kit, is what I would like to see. Just saying guys, if there are any Corvette owners, please put a pandem wide body kit on this car. I mean, those, those look so sick. Oof. I wish I had the Z51 wing though, or at least an option like that, because that would be kind of sick. I like the Z51 Those are really cool, so. I think I've, I haven't seen one yet with it. I, I've only seen these ones. Uh, I think this is the 2 OT packaged. Very bad slide, so don't worry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a very professional driver. Professional grade driving. Look at that. Oh, the slide is always awesome. I, I, I love it. Actually, I think I'm going to go. Uh, I'm gonna do some damage. I feel like I should be doing some damage. So. For the ladies and gentlemen, let's do a couple of damage. Okay, never mind. Uh, actually, I'll do like a couple. I'm never gonna dip. Okay, I think that guy's gonna win this time. Uh, go, 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 Yeah, let's go. See, look, it has just the right amount of wheel spin. Not like the Yesco, where the first 10 gears are all wheel spin, and like the last one is the one where you actually get power. You know, I like, I like it. Let's go hide here. I don't think. Hey, oops, I kind of scratched it. Yeah, there you go. So you can't see me anymore. Okay, well. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, please, um, you know, leave a like, comment below if you like this car and how you feel about it. Subscribe if you're new and turn on those post notifications. This thing, this channel is all about cars and uh, racing sometimes. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more of these like new cars coming out, I'm probably going to be one of the last people, but I'm probably going to be more accurate. So uh, yeah, adios amigos, Vanos Noches.